definitely shifting gears here with this particular topic. So, uh, okay. Imagine the moon is settled, the sun is rising. It's a very hot and humid environment. There is an insect on the ground, and you run for it. You pick it up, stare at it with a picture in your eyes, and prepare to eat that bug that was scurrying on the ground. Seconds later, a bug ripped you apart and you were dead. You were a human living two million years ago. About two million years ago, the first humans appeared on Earth. Slowly through time, humans have encountered challenges. We encountered diseases like the bubonic plague, famines, and worst of all, ourselves. With a cornucopia of these challenges, how could we have possibly came this far? How is it possible? Well, we are an efficient, amazing, and fruitful group of people. We've created the great, we've created the Great Wall of China, a symbol of vigorous work, Windsor Castle, which was a great architectural achievement, and have sent men to the moon, a never before seen impossible task. We all need to stay like this, including the youngest generation of teenagers. You need to go beyond today and look into the future and the whole of mankind. Although you are extremely small in comparison to us all, the human race altogether has unlimited power and you can contribute. So you may ask, what challenges are there? Or wait, why is it our job? Our challenges can be obscure and undefined. Sometimes our challenges are obvious and pressing and are pressing issues. A pressing issue, for example, could be ISIS, which is a terrorist group that inhabits Syria and Iran, murdering innocent people. So is global warming, an issue that can destroy us and our environment for a generation and those to follow. Right now, teenagers make up one-fifth of the U.S.'s population. This shows you that we, the teens of the 21st century, are facing these threats. We, the successors of the 21st century, will have to deal with these challenges. We, humans of the 21st century, will fail to exceed if we all don't work together to create a better world. To do this, we must join up. Every kid, teenager, and adult must participate. We must educate and nourish ourselves. We have power, and we have the help of each other. <laughs> So like I previously stated, we need to educate ourselves. The U.S. is even behind in education, being ranked 14th in the world. How is this amazing country 14th? This is because of dedication to education. Spending on education for 2014 in the U.S. was $141 billion. This is nearly 4% of the total fiscal year spending. A majority of this is in military spending. We need to take action to, spit, to fix this. We shouldn't be spending money on having one of the top tier armed forces when we hardly use them. We must change the extent of our spending and education to change our future. Education is the most important factor in success, but this is not the only one. The second factor is motivation. 1.2 million kids drop out of high school every year. There is a proven link between poverty and high school dropouts. This is a major problem when 22% of the kids of the U.S. are in low-income families. This is when the salary of a four-person family and a low income only covers about half their expenses. This is the leading reason as to why a teenager would drop out of high school to help provide to their needy family. Although a solution to low income is not easily dealt with, we can still try to donate and provide for these families. We need to help these teens stay in school and feel like they can accomplish something. This is because they can. We need everyone to stay motivated and intrigued in tackling the problems of tomorrow. So if we, the teens of the 21st century, confront and overcome these challenges, we will be as great or greater than our predecessors. We will create a future for ourselves. Just refer to Thomas Edison, a single person that discovered the correct material that burns long enough and created the light bulb. Look at NASA, the organization that has put men, us, on the moon, a once far and distant dream. Even now, we are discovering extremely small particles that govern space and time like the Higgs boson. There is so much we can accomplish. Imagine one last time. You didn't grab that bug. Instead, you ran to help your group catch a deer and didn't run into that bear. So now you are alive. You have worked together as a whole and accomplished more than you did by yourself. Take this approach to life. Help others accomplish the great and prepare for the future. Be diligent, be poised, and be together.